How is it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today's a very exciting day because uh, today, uh, literally just now, Nissan just officially released the production version of the 2023 400Z. Now, if you are subscribed to my channel, if you have been subscribed to my channel, uh, you know I've been making a lot of 400Z videos. I'm really excited for the car. I know a lot of people either love it or hate it. And you would also know that I'm actually, you know, from New Jersey. I'm from like the New York area. So I was actually planning on attending uh, the New York Auto Show this year, but unfortunately it got canceled like last minute. But even though the Auto Show got canceled, Nissan still decided to go ahead and go on with like this kind of virtual uh, limited attendance reveal. And it was basically right around 21 minutes long. It wasn't super long, but I watched the entire thing. I uh, took a bunch of notes and I'm basically just gonna summarize it down for you guys if you don't have you know really time to go ahead and watch it yourself. So the opening of this 400Z uh, premiere pretty much opened up with this like weird behind the scenes scene where uh, it showed people filming like the commercial and the opening for this actual uh, premiere and then it shows the actual opening and it's pretty much just an opening uh, through the years it goes from uh, like 1969 with the very first you know 240z going through the streets of new york and then it pretty much evolves through the 80s the 90s then the early 2000s with the 350z and it's really cool because you see a lot of like stuff that has to do with uh, new york culture in the background the music corresponds to the era and obviously again the car you know evolves over time and then uh, pretty much this kind of sequence ends with somebody driving the 50th anniversary 370Z through the streets of New York. And the end of that sequence with the 50th year anniversary 370Z actually segues perfectly to the actual in-person beginning of this premiere, where literally like the top logo is the Z logo part opens up in the middle of the stage and through a cloud of smoke, comes out the 50th anniversary 370Z and none other than Cody Walker actually comes out the driver's seat, which I think was pretty damn cool because I mean, most people probably just expected like a Nissan executive or something like that. Now, Cody actually does go on to mention that he was present at the 2019 New York Auto Show with this, you know, 370Z anniversary edition that they kind of revealed. And actually a quick fun fact, I was there too. And that's how I got this poster that you guys see behind me. So uh, I thought that was pretty cool. Again, I'm kind of from the area, so it really, like I have a good relation to what he's talking about. And obviously for anyone who doesn't know, Cody Walker is the brother of the late movie star and car enthusiast, Paul Walker, who starred in the Fast and Furious films. And me personally, I think he was a great kind of celebrity host for Nissan to bring in to this uh, premiere reveal. Because again, Paul Walker, it's almost like impossible to think of Paul Walker driving a car without thinking of him driving a Nissan. Now the next kind of transition in the premiere actually goes and talks about and features a few Z enthusiasts and actually shares their stories, which I thought was really unique. Uh, made, the, made the reveal feel a lot more personal as well. And then it kind of ends in this whole sequence where all the all these enthusiasts that they interviewed are kind of bundled up together and they're all basically praising what nissan is doing with the new 400z and then before we get any further cody does talk about his late brother's uh, charity organization that he founded reach out worldwide and he also talks about uh fuel fest which is pretty much a car show uh, and he, he just plugs that in there if any of you guys don't know what reach out worldwide is i do highly suggest you search it up and uh, maybe consider donating to them because they do a lot of great things around the world. But after all of that, and after kind of Cody Walker exits the stage, now we are actually introduced, officially introduced to the 2023 400Z. And in this kind of commercial trailer, whatever you want to promo, whatever you want to call it, we do get the very first shots of the actual production 400Z. And honestly, uh, when everyone was saying, when Nissan was saying that, you know, the Proto Z is pretty much 95% of the actual production Z, they definitely weren't lying. A lot of it was very uh, similar. The door handles looked a little bit different. Uh, some interior pieces here and there looked a little bit different. And one thing that I really, really liked throughout this uh, little commercial is the other Z that was actually featured. And it was a very good contrast be between kind of like a very calm, 
uh, Z and then a very wild dark blue Z and I absolutely love that factory color. Uh, obviously that is going to be a, fa a factory color that is going to be offered for these new 400 Zs. And pretty much the whole commercial climaxes and ends on a really really awesome ending of again the contrast of a very calm and timid kind of like lime green Z and a absolute wild blue Z and they're going back and forth and you get a lot of exhaust noise and what this car is actually going to sound like. So actually now I'll just edit it in right into this video so you guys can take a look at this because I think this is badass. And then after that commercial, uh, the COO of Nissan, Ashwani Gupta, who is actually supposedly like the head guy for this 400Z project, goes on and he pretty much takes the show from there. He does mention a bunch of times how the first you know, 240Z was originally debuted here in New York City in 1969. He talks about all the different previous generations and he even does mention how Nissan has kind of been flawed in the past decade and how in the past couple years, through the Nissan Next program, they've really been trying to turn things around. He features a couple of the other, you know, Nissan vehicles that are in their current inventory. And actually fast forwarding to right around 14 and a half minutes in to this premiere, I really love the shot of like all the Generation Zs that you get from this kind of like picture right behind Ashwani Gupta. And I do feel like they were repeating this a lot, but I do uh, really like the emphasis on the enthusiast as well as the actual history and lineage of the Z car because you could definitely see a lot of that in the new 400Z's design. And of course, that is another thing that uh, Mr. Gupta goes on to talk about. He uh, mentions again the design for the Proto Z was pretty much where they were at for the production 400Z. A lot of people thought they were going to change it like drastically, but I mean, besides marker lights and simple things to make the thing road legal, uh, that's pretty much where they were at. And with this new 400Z, uh, it being rear wheel drive still, uh, being offered in manual transmission, there was again like a lot of emphasis on a just very pure driving experience and authentic driving experience that is going to be offered with this new kind of modern retro vehicle from Nissan. And further on, we do get a very good section that does have a lot of focus on the interior, including the 12.3 inch digital display, which is actually kind of funny because in the uh, actual premiere, it doesn't even include a speedometer, it's just tachometer, boost gauge, and then a couple other things. But I'm sure that's probably gonna be customizable when you actually get the car. And then of course, he does mention that the new 400Z is going to include the very famous kind of three center gauges, the three center dash gauges that a lot of previous generations have had. And there also is a quick mention on the eight inch center touchscreen, the center display touchscreen. That is also going to include Apple CarPlay for anybody wondering. But to be honest with you guys, uh, me personally, I don't really care about the interior that much. I care more about what's underneath the hood. And yes, it is actually confirmed that we are getting that four liter twin turbo V6 from the Infiniti Q60 Red Sport. And that three liter twin turbo V6 will actually produce 400 horsepower and 350 foot pounds of torque. And now for probably the most anticipated part of the premiere, which I mean, everyone already knew this, you know, coming into this, but I love the fact that the audience actually like all, like the entire audience or everyone that was actually there and present uh, clapped when he did mention and actually show on the screen that yes, this car is coming in a manual, standard six speed manual, but it is also going to be offered in a nine speed automatic shiftable transmission with uh, mounted paddle shifters as well. Now, obviously the fact that this car is going to be offered in a manual and its main competitor, the Mark V Supra isn't, is going to be a really big selling point for a lot of car enthusiasts. And it is something that uh, I feel like is really, really going to help Nissan out in both the short term for sales as well as the long term. I think this car is definitely going to evolve into something uh, pretty damn iconic, especially when the aftermarket gets their hands on it. Now, unfortunately, with that great news, uh, there was a little bit of bad news towards the end of this premiere. 
uh, Mr. Gupta did go on to say that this car actually isn't actually going to be for sale until uh, like late spring of 2022. But honestly, that's probably something that, you know, we expected uh, as a 2023 model year. And then eventually Cody Walker uh, pretty much just comes back and just closes out the premiere. I think this event, although it was short, right, uh, right under 21 minutes long, I still think they touched on a lot of things. Now, unfortunately, the one thing that they did not touch on, which I, I know I was a little bit aggravated and I know a couple other people are <laughs> aggravated as well, is the actual confirmed price. Now, even though they did not say it in the premiere, I actually did scroll down to the comment section and you can see uh, someone by the name of Hellbent basically said they forgot to mention the price, but other than that, it looks very promising. And it was pretty cool because the actual official Nissan USA YouTube channel uh, did reply to him and pretty much just said, although final pricing will not be announced much closer to its on sale date, the new Z is expected to have a base MSRP starting around uh, 40,000 US dollars, which uh, I, I know I already did a video on it and that's what the numbers that I kind of came out with, uh, compiling both the uh, information that I got from Car and Driver and I believe Motor Trend as well as in that video. I'll leave you a link to that on top of the, this video right now. But I mean, yeah, for a brand new car, again, 40 grand is still a lot of money and a lot of people were hoping for like 35 or maybe even 30. But realistically, Nissan could probably only cheap out on so much, especially if they're truly building a quality car. And uh, I mean, with modern day car prices, it, it's a reasonable price. Now, now, do I think it's worth it? I personally think it's worth it. Uh, however, if I was even in the market for a new 400Z, I'd probably wait a couple years and get one used just because that's my own, I guess, financial preference. But, I mean, if someone's got the money, I think this is a absolutely great car for the money. I think it definitely beats out the Mark V Supra, and I like the Mark V Supra. I don't really hate on it. I actually did a review on one for my channel, so if you haven't checked that out, I'll leave a link to that on top of the video right now. But I definitely think this 400Z is going to beat out the Mark V Supra in sales, and I do think that a lot of other uh, vehicle manufacturers are going to be put on notice and actually understand the fact that Nissan actually listening to the car enthusiast community and giving them what they want uh, may actually be more profitable for those other manufacturers in the long run. And who knows, maybe this uh, fuels a lot more competition and gives us a lot more badass cars in the future. But anyways guys, that's pretty much just gonna be it for today's video. Uh, comment down below what you guys are most excited to see about this new 400Z and let me know your thoughts and opinions on the official 400Z production reveal. But like always, thank you guys for all the support and I'll see you guys in the next one.